Hi guys and gals, Stephen here coming at you from the south of England on a lovely windy spring day. I'm just here to let you know what it is myself and a couple of other people will be doing at the end of May, start of June. Um, as you know, uh, most years now, I've, in the last six years, I've been out to Africa, particularly Uganda, Nigeria, um, and God seems to have started something within the country of Uganda uh, that has just opened up doors to myself um, to preach and evangelize. Um, every year I go out there with some other people and we teach in the School of Ministries. It's where we, uh, we have four schools in Uganda. Um, I've taught in many of them. They do 40, 32 modules over four years. They get a good solid uh, uh, Bible course where they would not be able to pay for it otherwise. It's free of charge to them. And we come over and we, we teach them these 32 different modules. Uh, and I'll be doing a week this year with my good friend Ian Denton. Um, and then the second year, second week, we're going to be uh, evangelizing. We'll be setting up uh, a stage and we'll be preaching hopefully to thousands and possibly tens of thousands of people. And um, We need a sound system, we need travel, we need fuel, we need all these things that it takes to do what we're going to be doing. Um, and at that leg of the, of the journey, um, Josh Ease is going to be there with us, he's going to be helping us and, um, and filming and hopefully getting up there and speaking. And uh, we're just there to really proclaim the good news of the gospel. Um, and a lot of people ask us, Steve, why are you doing this? Why aren't the Africans doing this? Why can't they do it for themselves? Well, they can do it for themselves, but I'm a, a white man and I'm a white English man and I go into towns where they've never seen a white person before and we draw a large crowd because of the color of our skin. It's that easy. I have a heart for Africa, a heart for, uh, for evangelism over there. I believe God's got something unique for us to bring. And uh, last year when we went, we went to two different towns and evangelized. This year we've added a different town, we're going for three and, uh, and we saw a move of the spirit break out last year where people were getting saved for months after we left, um, even so much so that a certain group of people were buying up all the Bibles in town and burning them. Um, they had to demolish uh, uh, some of the churches to build bigger ones because they were too small and God's just doing real great things over there and I would love for you to, uh, to be a part of that if you'd like to view what it is that we're doing. Part of the vision in the long term is to build a team of people that will go over and evangelize uh, and help locally. Um, people that will go to the villages and share the good news one-on-one. -on -one. We do mass crusades. And also we want to build uh, a center um, where we can have a couple of vehicles. The vehicles will be loaded up with sound equipment, uh, with a mobile stage, hopefully a mobile tent. And uh, when we go there, we can uh, do teaching in the day, training in the day for the Christians and then preach and evangelizing at night for the unsaved. And, and uh, the vehicles would be where when I'm not there, they can continue to do what they're doing. Uh, and when we're there, we can combine the vehicles. We'll do a big blowout service and we'll see people get saved, healed and delivered. And if you keep watching this, then you're going to see great things take place. So if you want to support, that'd be great. Uh, we need prayer, prayer, prayer. We need prayer more than anything. Jesus said that this house will be called a house of prayer. And a house of evangelism, he didn't say that, he said a house of prayer. But evangelism comes out of prayer. We're, we're prayerful people first. If you want to support in any way, pray for us. We'll appreciate that very much. Um, and if you, God puts on your heart, you want to sow into this, then you're very welcome to sow into this. It doesn't cost a lot of money, but it still costs some money for us to go. And uh, God bless you and uh, look forward to reporting back to all that God's been doing.